Okay, so we have uh, two equations we're asked to solve, so we have simultaneous equations here. But we notice that the coefficients are different uh, for the x and the y. Uh, the x has 2 and 3 and the y has 4 and 12, and we need them to be the same. Now I could times the top by 3 and the bottom by 2 to get the x to the same, but it might be easier to get the y to the same because they're almost there anyway. I just need to times this top one by 3. So I'm just going to times everything by 3. So 6x plus 12y equals 60. And it might be easier to rewrite the second equation beneath it. Sometimes it's more helpful. OK, so with simultaneous equations, we work downwards. So I'm going to be circling where I'm working. OK, we're going downwards with these. And there's a simple rule of telling us what to do. If the, if the signs of the coefficients are the same, we subtract. If they're different, we add. Now looking at this, we've got 12y and minus 12y. So they're different, so we're going to add. So 6x plus 3x is 9x. 12y plus minus 12y, so that means 12y minus 12y is nothing, which is good, because if it was something, then we wouldn't be able to do this question. And 60 take away 42 is 18. So let's put our lines in. And we're going to divide both sides by 9. And we've got x equals 2. So that's a half done, because we need to feed that back into one of the equations to work out what y is. So I'll pick the top one. So we've got 2 times 2 plus 4y equals 20. It doesn't matter which one you pick. I just normally pick the top one for some reason. OK, so we've got 4 plus 4y equals 20, minus 4 both sides. 4y equals 16. Divide 4 both sides. Let's move down a bit. y equals 4. So we could just check that by looking into the second equation and feeding in the numbers. So we've got 6 and we've got 48. So 6 take away 48 is minus 42. So we know it works. 